Yo guys, boys and girls, it is Kiralis, this is Game Dev Tycoon Episode 1. It is time to check out what this game is all about. That's right. Welcome! Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon and this business simulation you've been transported back in time to start your own, very own, game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next few years you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, game fans and become the leader of the market. I want that, <laughs> I want that. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name for shizzle. Let me see here, company name, Derp Game Studios. <laughs> That's right. And Keralis. I'm gonna be a male, you right know. Let me see, haircuts. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Or with this one. This one, this one, this one. This one. <laughs> oh snap, I'm gonna geek him up. I'm gonna be the uber geek on this. That's right. Tutorial. I might play this because I always skip them. Alright, so let me just see here. Congratulations, you just started your own game development company. At the moment your office is in a garage and you are only the only employer. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. You know what, first of all, let me just see here. Hi, I got achievement. <laughs> Settings. Music might be a bit lower, right? Because then you guys can hear me, hopefully. There we go. And you know, this might be pretty tricky because you know my, my weird accent and all this reading, but it's gonna be cool, yo. That's me, <laughs> my geek outfit. I'm just gonna go crazy, develop new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use, all right? Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay. <laughs> game concept. Is this the game name, basically? All right, so what should we call it? Assassin's Noob. Is this correct spelled? Yeah, it is, I guess. Pick topic, alright. Oh, sports, military, medieval, space. I have to go for medieval because that's like the closest. Action, adventure, RPG, simulation, strategy. It's kind of action, adventure, right? Should we pick action? Yeah, I'm gonna pick action. Big platform. Oh, <laughs> all right. So we got 70k cash. Should we pick the G64? That is expensive stuff. 20k market share, 56%. You know what? I'm gonna go with the PC because you know, you know, I'm always a big spender in the beginning, and then I lose out on stuff. So Assassin's Noob. Medieval Action PC, next. <laughs> 2D graphics. <laughs> text based. I have to go with 2D graphics. I cannot text game. Start development. Uh huh. Tutorial. All right. Game development runs through three stages. Uh huh. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. All right. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. No, thank you. Oh, you know, since this is Assassin's Noob, this is our first game, I think we should focus on story and quests because I think that might be the most important thing. So I'm gonna boost up this gameplay just a little tad. But nah, main focus, story and quests, because that is what this is all about. <laughs> Game development has now started. <laughs> to be honest, I'm gonna be addicted to this game. I can just feel it right now, right away. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Yep, there's a couple more bubbling up there, yes, yes, it's going up here, yes. Game points are divided into design points and technology 
points, all right? The more points you generate, the better the game will be, okay. From time to time, there will also be bug points. Yeah, bug points, I hate bug points. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bug, bugs needs to be fixed before the game can really be released and increase development time and cost. Oh my God, I don't want bugs. No bugs. How do we fix the, fix the bugs though? Holy snap, this is, this is stage two, guys. You know what? I'm gonna go for level design. Level design. Assassin's Noob is all about level design. And dialogues. And AI can be pretty important, but mostly level design. Okay. <laughs> this is this game is so simple yet so damn sweet at the same time. Tutorial! During development, you can also select additional features in for your game. Right now, you can pick basic sounds, but your options will increase qu quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game gener generally better, but also increases its costs. All right. Damn, there's a lot of reading here. You will also see graphic type you select when you define the game. All right. This is just to remind you of your choice. You can you cannot change the type of graphics mid game. Oh. So what we got here? Selected features. We got a graphic. We get sound, graphic, sound, sound, graphic, sound, graphic, word, word design. It's it's all about the world design, guys. It's all about the world design and a bit of graphic on this. I'm gonna boost the sound a bit. I know sound is important in games, but this is about Assassin's Noob, right? Oh no, we got three bugs, five bugs, six bugs. Oh my god, the development of your first game is now completed. You can press finish button to publish your game, but you should only do it once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you could consider cash. Afford it, wait, alright. I got five bugs, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fix all the bugs, and he's fixing the bugs. Zero bugs, guys. Oh, oh no, we got one new bug. No, there we go. Finish! The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be present with a summary of experience points gained, all right? Assassin's Noob 1 is completed. Engine, gameplay, story and quests, dialogues, level design. AI. This game seems pretty badass, to be honest. You know what? This is the first game, right? We can do Assassin's Noob 2. I kind of feel Assassin's Noob is misspelled, but I don't, I don't think it is. Well, this game <laughs> might be the biggest typo of them all. Good judgment, alright? Your game is now completed and will be handed off to publishing. That is pretty cool. We should see reviews and sales coming in the game soon. You finish your first game! Uh-huh. While you develop the game, you can also get a research point. You can use these points to unlock new options for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message and click the anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. So basically, all right. The first reviews for your new game releases just came in. All right, guys, are you get are you ready for this? All right, reviews. What? Why you not waste of time? Are you shitting me? This is Assassin's Noob. This is the best game in history. Live and action games is a great combination. That's free. What is max? That's the point. It's it's five, or is it ten? I think it's ten. Derp Game Studios, a newcomer in the game industry. They've just released the first game, Assassin's Noob. The game had moderate response from reviewers. We're curious what Derp Games will deliver in the future. Alright. Guys, I first week of sales. We actually sold 1,369 units. Uh-huh. So basically, I will receive income from this game weekly which is which is which is really good should we like 
game history. I'm just gonna see here. So we have sold 1,400 copies of this game. The game cost 39k to produce, but we gained 9.6k in income. It's still in the red books by 29k. Snap, this is bad. Should we like go and create a new game as well? What is research? Research is important to unlock new options to make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games, alright? Uh-huh. Hint! To try to develop games with different topic and gender combinations for slight research boost, alright? What do you want to research? Custom game engine. That costs... I got 22 research points, so new topic maybe. <laughs> racing, racing. Start research on racing. <laughs> I'm gonna create a racing game, guys. That's right. I love this game. How badass is this? All right, so this is completed. So now it is time to develop a new game. We're gonna name it Need for Derp. Oops. Need for Derp. <laughs> this is my topic racing. Pick genre. Well, action, adventure, RPG, simulation. I guess it has to be simulation, right? Can't be anything else. Pick platform. I got 46k. Look at my... We sold 4.1k of Assassin's Noob. Which is like nothing. Hmm. Should we go for PC? But look at this. This got so many market shares. 57%. But PC? I'm gonna go one more for PC. And then we'll see how much money we can boost on this. <laughs> I, we can't make a racing game text-based, so it's gonna be 2D graphics again. Here is all about gameplay. Story quests, not that important at this point. So let me just boost up those two categories, engine and gameplay. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is like, you know, I don't want to have any bugs. Go away, bugs. Oh, I got a bug. I'll do. Assassin's Noob is now off the market. Why did you take off Assassin's Noob? We, like, come on, game history. We didn't even make a profit on Assassin's Noob. We lost 5.8k. Derp Game Studios, you suck. I'm game. Derp Game Studios, by the way. Dialogues, not that important. Not at this point. Level design and AI. I'm gonna boost that to the max. Alright. Are we done? Yes. <laughs> Need for Derp, come on. Recent market stu studies suggest that Govadora <laughs> G64 is steadily outselling competitor in PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, general availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Experts say this might be a spell to end competing hardware manufacturers. Alright, this is bad. Or is it? Bugs! Selected features, basic sounds, world design, and graphic. Well, car engine sounds, I'm gonna balance those out, to be honest, because you know how important engine sounds are in driving games. That's right. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, come on, comment, like, and favorite. I know there's a lot of derpy reading from me, and you know, it's not my strong side. If we're fixing bugs, bugs go, done. New record. New topic, new combination. Guys, this might be a winner. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Release it. Is it on the market? The first reviews for our newly released game, Need for Derp, came in. All right. Come on. 
beautiful. High five. Well, 7-6 is not bad, right? I like it, game hero. Come on, higher, higher. Good game. <laughs> we might hit something here, guys. So basically, let me just go to game. So if I do that, research game history. All right, so let me just see the first sales. Look at the units. Hi there, contract work. All right, hi there. I just finished Need for Derp and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and would could use your skills like yours. Or just kind of down, yeah. If you ever short on cash, just let me know. Uh huh. And I will see if I have something with Jason. If all right, all right. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this mission and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Let me just see here. Contracts. Find contract work. I'm not gonna do it. Con contracts are a useful tool to earn some extra cash when your balance is low. Uh huh. And can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. All right. Decide carefully what contract you you accept. If you miss the deadline, your contract you will be paid penalty. Oh, I don't want to pay a penalty. So it's better to start out with a smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. I'm on my own. We got a first fans! Need for Derp was successful, and now we got 23 fans. This is pure badass. Just look at how much he's selling. According to rumors, the Japanese company <laughs> Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home game console. Ninvento is known for wildly successful game and Dinky King. <laughs> Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Nintendo Nin Nintendo will deliver. All right, I'm just seeing my money coming in. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a research before this episode ends. We got 33. I'm gonna do a new topic. Well, to be honest, kind of boring topics to, to choose from. We got fantasy, pirate, sci-fi, and dance. Was dance big in the 80s? this is the 80s, right? Kinda. Pirates... Huh. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna go for that. I'm just gonna go like, alright, so we got Need for Derp. It is time to develop a new game. And no, no, we're gonna start with that in the next episode. Guys, first of all, I want some suggestions from you guys. What do you think about this Let's Play? Do you find it cool? Is my reading totally derp and off the charts? I want a new office, by the way. New sales record! Need for Derp has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Derp Game Studios. High five. Look at the units just pouring in and look at my cash just bumping up here. 63 fans. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. Give me a comment, like, favorite, suggestions. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode. I'm just going to pause the game like that. I'm going to save it, and see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.